you doing this is black shy guy here welcome once again to another podcast episode and as always i really appreciate the support make sure you hit the like button even subscribe and also hit the notification button to get notified for any upcoming new videos and also about any upcoming podcast episodes which is inserted in my videos when i mention it thank you for sitting at my table we're gonna dive in to what's been going on to the guys who know it all you know what i'm saying to the guys who know it all fresh and fit and we're not talking about both of them we're talking about one individual which is fresh is getting himself into a scenario that i always advise for people not to listen to and i'm not talking about everything because the majority of what they say and i'm gonna say myron because fresh obviously in my opinion does not know how to give advice absolutely not Despite the fact that I respect that he is a Christian, I don't know what type of Christian he is because he always says he's a Christian, but to me, he's not a Christian concerning his actions. But I'm not here to judge anybody's actions. Fresh can do whatever he's want because he is a successful man and big ups to him for that. But what I'm saying is when you tell all these young men that follow you to listen, have as much sex with as many women as you want has as much sex as as many women as you want i always said that is a bad idea why because if you sleep with 50 ladies there's a probability that five even 10 of them can be evil as fuck and be out to get you because if you get at least one of them pregnant your life will be a freaking disaster for at least 21 years because the kid decides to go to college you're still stuck in the drama of dealing with the other parent and i always say do not absolutely not try to sleep with as many women as possible why not find someone if of course we i'm not gonna lie i had my fun i i'm not gonna lie but it's not like i was like i i let me write a memo and try to sleep with 100 ladies no 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 it just happened. I had fun. I was young. But the thing is, when you tell all these guys that you're trying to lead to the promised land, to basically motivating them to better themselves, why not teach them discipline? Why not teach them, hey, the fact that you had the opportunity to sleep with as much ladies as possible doesn't mean that you should sleep with all the ladies that present themselves to you. Why? Because a lot of them present nothing but trouble period especially in this modern age what i'm talking about let's dive into what's been going on with fresh and listen the reason i put a fake pregnant woman in my thumbnails because i don't want nobody bothering this young lady i don't want despite what you may think of her because i don't i don't like her lifestyle either but despite what you may think of her i don't want nobody bothering this young lady and the reason i'm diving into this episode is because they might take this video down fresh and fit have no power when it comes to youtube because they've been canceled out of it but what i'm saying is they got a lot of peoples so they might tell somebody hey tell them to take that video down but whatever the case may be we're gonna dive into this scenario i don't know who this person is how this how they got this information but the fact fresh is exposed by this young lady called daisy fit underscore chang and a lot of people may say she's too muscular for me or whatever but i i I don't know i mean let's dive into her instagram right this is her this is her the young lady that's basically um impregnated by fresh and i I don't care what anybody say you can say she's too muscular you can say anything you want but she's in shape she's in shape She's respected for the fact that she goes to the gym. I don't know how many of it is real. <laughs> you know how you know the fact that a lot of these ladies get a lot of surgeries. So you don't know what is real, what is um properly earned. You know what I mean? But she's in shape. And it looked like she um participated in events. It looked like, I mean seriously, it looked like she really is like she participated in events. So that's neither here nor there fresh and impregnated this young girl and it's a fact because the phone call is even is even recorded and we're gonna dive into the phone call and the text messages that were sent but before that let's observe what fresh has gotten himself into 
<laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is what he got himself into. He couldn't ignore the glutes. He couldn't ignore the glutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's dive into the YouTube video that basically exposes what's been going on between these two. And once again, I'm going to link this down in the description to give this person props for basically um, supplying this information. And hey, this is what I'm going to say before I even dive into what's been going on here. Discipline, a man who has discipline does not get himself into these type of situations. And that's not saying that despite you have been disciplined, you're not going to get yourself into situations because you're a man. You're going to dive into um, a, a couple of fruits out there that are very, very attractive. And, that's, and there's nothing wrong with that, especially when you're not in a relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, some ladies, when you get that inkling, when you get that funny feeling, and you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about. When you get that funny feeling, don't mess with that individual because that lady may be trouble. And you know she's trouble, but the fact that you can't ignore the glutes, you decide to still smash. And now you get yourself into what Fresh has gotten himself into. Let's continue. This is her. And this is the text message. This is the text message. She displayed it. She's giving it to Fresh. She's talking to Fresh here. And I believe this is, I, I, I don't know if this is her. <laughs> I don't know if this is her YouTube. I don't know. But it, it's been exposed nonetheless. She's supplying the test. And this is what she says. You always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I don't want to kill alive. I mean, I don't want to kill alive. I mean, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to kill alive. I don't know what that means, but I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility, which is a, hey, which is, uh, which is not, it's not properly worded, but we all know what she means. I'll call you shortly. This is first telling her I'll call you shortly. And she said, take your time, etc. I can't have kids. And now he, I guess first is telling her, I can't have kids. And now she says, take responsibility for your actions, right? Take responsibility for your actions. That is my phone that went off. I deeply apologize. Let's continue. So now, what's this? She said, read it. Blood test. Pregnancy, blood test. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Three to four weeks, doctor says. Three to four weeks. So... <laughs> If Fresh has, if this woman happens to have Fresh's kid, Fresh is gonna, Fresh is going to deal with a nightmare of a life for the simple fact that he never wanted kids and now she's, um, she's dealing with this. She's dealing with this. So let's continue. Three to four weeks, doctor says. He says, oh, okay. It's our baby, and you want to kill our baby? You are not being a good human. And he says, it's not about that right now. It's not good, and a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. What does he mean by that? A lot is happening, especially now business may be over. Come on, Fresh, can you at least fix your grammar? For God's sakes, are you? do you mean business may be over? Like the podcast is coming to a close soon or what? What, what? what are you saying here, Fresh? But anyway, I don't want kids right now and we spoke about it and you agreed. Okay, he laid it out there that they spoke about it and that they agreed not to have kids. That's not proven yet. That's an allegation right there. So far, seems like she wants the kid. And it's neither here nor there. We don't know who's lying. Obviously, there's a lot of allegations being thrown, but let's continue. I never agreed because look at that. She said, I never agreed. Boom. She said that. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep come inside on me, I will get pregnant. And this is what I'm going to say about this. This is where this is where I blame Fresh, right? Because he had all the power not to give this woman an opportunity to get pregnant. Why are you not using a condom? Why? 
Why? Is, are these, is this where you're teaching young men? Come inside every woman that you have sex with, despite the fact that you don't want a child. Obviously, if you come in, or you're gonna, you're gonna have the potential of impregnating her. <laughs> Obviously, but you choose to continue not using the condom. Now you're in this jam. Now you're in this jam, and she said it because obviously she was telling him, "Hey, I know you don't like using the condom, but you might get me pregnant." He's like, "I, I, I don't want the condom. I, I want to feel you, or whatever." I mean, obviously that's something like that went on. So let's continue. I don't get pregnant without your behave. Words means nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. Don't, cause you are nothing to me. The baby is innocent. And I'm not gonna lie, the baby is innocent. I mean, call it what you want, right? Fresh always says he's a, a Christian, this and that, and the, and the third. He wants to kill an innocent child that has nothing to do with the conflict between you and this woman. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you follow Fresh and Fit, for, but if you're at least a conservative, because I'm not going to say if you're a left or a liberal, whatever the case may be. If you're a conservative, if you're a human being, to kill a child who has nothing to do with the drama you have with this woman, it's... It's inhumane. I, 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 I don't care what, what you say. And I understand there are some pregnancies that, you know, come some situations come that you have to have an abortion. And I, I understand that. But this situation right here, a healthy young woman, a healthy young man, you want to kill the child because it's an, it's, it's an inconvenience. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. And I don't want to hear Fresh ever say that he's a Christian, even on his show. Because the fact that you're willing to kill a young baby... That has nothing to do with your drama. You also have been exposed when it comes to your religion. Let's continue. And the next page. You should have a kid with someone you are in love with in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now so you know. Man, it, it, fresh. I mean, despite what she is. Despite what she is. Man up, my dude. You got her pregnant. You got her pregnant. You didn't want to use a condom. You knew the possibility of what may happen if you don't use a condom, but you still chose to take that path. Man up. Man up. To kill a child, especially the fact that you always said that you're a Christian and you live by those standards, man up. You're going to kill the child, though? You're going to kill the child? Hey, if you didn't want to get yourself in that jam, you should have been using a condom. <laughs> I mean... Say what you want. Maybe this woman wants the baby because she wants that guac. You know what I mean? It may be a high possibility that that's all she wants. But you gave her that opportunity to take advantage of your money. Because now she has the biggest possibility of garnishing half of your wages with a child. And you gave her the opportunity. No one else. And this is what you're telling young guys to do. Go out there and... Have sex with as, as many ladies as possible. Hey, don't have no discipline within yourself because a man who has discipline, it's not really a, he, he's not really a good man. He should sleep with as much ladies as possible. No, a real man is a man with discipline. Period. I don't want to hear none of that shit. A man with discipline is a real man. Let's continue. Sorry about that rant, but it had to be said. I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. This is her speaking again. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house and when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you did come in me with your own pleasure. Which is true. Once again, this is what Fresh wanted. And what and in the fact that Fresh, this is what I don't get, right? They go on the podcast, they preach about all these um, conservative actions and stuff like that, about how a woman should act, how a man should act. This is not the actions of a man who has, a, has knowledge of being around a certain woman. Because if you know what type of woman she is, why would you give her an opportunity to get a one-up on you by impregnating her? Why would you give her that opportunity now to be in your life for at least 21 years without you giving any type of consent for her to be in your life? But now it's mandatory because you got a child with her. <laughs> it's, it boggles my mind, you know what I mean? Because this is what I always say about the, the preaching of Fresh and Fit when it comes to... I'm not talking about the other things they say because the other things they say it speaks facts. Big up to Myron because a lot of things Myron say... I agree with. 
I agree with. But when it comes to sleeping around with a hundred ladies, I do not agree with that. I think you're going to get yourself in a lot of jams that you don't want to get yourself into. You're going to meet a lot of ladies that you wish you never have met when you put yourself in that type of situation. Just because you have the opportunity to sleep with 100 ladies doesn't mean you have to sleep with 100 ladies. Let's continue. Be logic and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. And I got to admit it. Whether she's a hoe, whether she's a slut, whether, whatever she is, it's not the baby's fault. The baby should not lose his or her life because you don't want to take responsibility for your actions. Own up. Be a man. That's the part when it comes to her that I agree with. Let's continue. What are you saying? We are not together and won't be. Why would that be good for a kid? So death is better, Fresh? Let me guess. The fact that you and her are not together, death is better for the baby. Yeah, that's... Yeah, big thumbs up, Fresh. Yeah. Idiot. So why did you keep coming inside me? Yeah, why did you? Also, things happen. Yes, feelings change. But bringing a kid into this world without both parents' love is cruel. You know what's cruel, Fresh? You know what's cruel? It's offering death to someone who had nothing to do with the drama that you got yourself into. That is what's cruel. Huh? <laughs> I mean, if you ever watch Fresh and Fit's podcast, if you ever watch his podcast... Fresh cannot articulate himself for, 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 for at all. He can't. He can't. Listening to Fresh, when Myron is not on a podcast, it's unbearable watching the show. Unbearable. Because Fresh and Chris cannot articulate themselves to save their lives. And I have a deep Dominican accent. And a lot of times I have trouble with words and articulating certain words. But I can still articulate myself. You know what I mean? Because I, I, listen, I, I could talk street and I could talk business. You know what I mean? I know how to separate the two depending on where I am at the time. But Fresh is horrible at that. So I don't know how, why I went there, but you know why I went there. Let's continue. Also, things happen. And I read that part. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. And it doesn't matter if you thought you wouldn't get pregnant or not. It doesn't matter. You you keep a condom on because you don't want the freaking, you don't want to take the chance. Let's continue. And the page flips as it was a joke. All I don't know what why he said it was a joke. All I'm saying is you should take the responsibility for what you did. I am a victim in this relationship, and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care. You don't want nothing. Obviously, he doesn't care. And are you a victim? No, you're not a victim because you should have so you should have known what Fresh was because Fresh always says it. He wants to sleep with a hundred ladies. So no, you are not a victim. You're just a extra character in this plot that has taken place between you and fresh so don't try to say that you're a victim because you're not innocent either the only the only innocent one is the one that you're carrying in that stomach of yours that should bear no witness to death because of it but you saying that you're a victim you're not a victim that, that's all cap stop it let's continue also now this is on um, fresh speaking now for those who are just watching this on my podcast. If you want to watch the YouTube video, I'm going to have it up. I'm going to have it up. It may be up as of now as you're watching this podcast. But, I mean, as you're listening to the podcast. But the YouTube video also may be up. Definitely. Because I'm not doing no edits to this video. It's going to go straight up to my YouTube channel. So check it out. And also make sure you follow my YouTube channel. Okay, let's continue. This is Fresh Texan now. And this is what he is saying as we speak. Also, now, I'm worried. I have to test other girls. What? <laughs> At least four. <laughs> I, what? I, this can't be true. This is this got to be all cap. This has got to be all cap. You telling me, Fresh, you impregnated possibly four other girls other than this one? That, this got to be cap. Maybe he's saying that to um to, to sway her to just get a... a, a, a an abortion. He's got to be doing that. Because you're an idiot, Fresh, if you actually impregnated four girls that you want nothing to do with in life. You, you're you an idiot. You're, you're, you're an idiot. And nobody should follow your advice. No one. No one. I hope, if Myron is doing these same type of actions, I hope at least Myron is, using a pro is smart enough to use a condom. I hope he's not like your stupid ass who decides to not use a condom with all of these girls. 
you're an idiot and it's instagram girls at that instagram girls who want nothing to do with people themselves they just want to get impregnated at least the majority of them i'm not saying that this is the type of girl that she is because i don't want to put anything on anyone but the actions are saying that because on her instagram it it it's just showing her doing exercises and um it looked like an on um, bodybuilding contest that she was in but that's neither here nor there it's not proven that she's just a thought so i i don't know but the fact that she's de that she dealt with you i don't know it says a lot of things okay she says um fresh said at least four basically fresh is stating that he possibly got four other girls pregnant and this is her let us continue another girl four girls you are saying you have sex with four girls without protection i hope you have all the money for your child support holy shit she's already talking about child support she's already talking about child support this is what i'm talking about i mean young men out there especially if you're a dapper dude if you're a man that if you, if you got your pimp game going is this the drama you want despite the fact that you have the opportunity to sleep with a lot of girls is this the drama that you want because i don't want that drama want that drama because that's a nightmare that is a nightmare if you haven't dealt with that type of situation you don't know the half of it because it's a nightmare all right let's let us, let us continue i hope you have all the money for your child support you finally admit you are a fuck a fucking fucking trash i don't have money good luck you will see oh my god so you don't have money fresh um um, I'm gonna say something to you because if this goes to court, obviously, um, what you said right there about you not having money is all bullshit. It's all cap because you're always on Fresh and Fit, which is freaking live on YouTube, where anybody can get clips. You stating that you're a man with money, that you're a man of high stature, that you're one of the one percent men out there. Remember that? Remember all that shit you were saying? So now you're saying you don't have money. So if this goes to court, who you think will win? Who you think the judge will believe after those videos are exposed? I mean, am I the only one hearing this? Am I the only one? Am, am I the only one witnessing this trash? I mean, this is the intelligence. This is the this is the man giving young men advice. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying? Oh my God! I hope Myron is not this stupid. I hope I hope Myron is not this stupid. <laughs> Let us continue um all right this is her her name is daisy finally she um releases her name once again do not attack this woman on her instagram let's be men and let's not be pieces of shits okay because i really want to talk about the story because i really want to stray young men from doing stupid shit like this just because you have the opportunity men doesn't mean you have to you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. If you're a man of stature, if you're a man of of of, of high stature, you have nothing to, no nothing, nothing to prove to anyone. Let's continue. My name is Daisy. This is a story between me and Walter Weeks, the podcaster known as Fresh Egg and YouTube. I met him on November twenty first in Miami, in Miami, and I fell in love with him. Yeah. I, I, mm. <laughs> listen I, I know you guys are gonna say shit i got you uh, we already know what you might say listen i'm not gonna say shit i was gonna say shit but i'm not gonna say shit let's continue she fell in love with his money not with his looks but let's continue we spent new years together that's the time when he asked me to be his girl to commit to him and he posted a video of us on social media he said to me i love you i don't want you to be with another man a few days later he asked me to meet his mom everything went well i showed him and his mom my respect he defended me on his podcast from the rumors. That's the moment I truly fallen in love with him. But this is where the game began. I left Miami on January 8th, traveled back to China for Chinese New Year. The night before we had a serious conversation, he said he sees me like someone to spend a whole life with. And I told him I was going to move to Miami for him. From then, we started a long distance relationship for two months until I traveled to Barbados. I met his entire family there. Let's continue. This is her. This is Daisy continuing her rant. Now, made everything so real that he is serious with me. Therefore, I'm not on, both, on birth control and we had sexual behavior without protection. Stupid ass fresh making stupid ass decisions. 
I was ready to have a baby with him and build a family. He asked me many times, what if you get pregnant? My answer towards him, uh, towards to him was always, yes, I want to keep the baby. I don't mind having a baby with you. Mm. Okay. And, and she has text. Listen, for those people who are listening to the podcast, make sure you go to my YouTube channel so you can see these text messages on full display. Because she has the text messages up, which was obviously on her phone, and she posted it. Oh my god, our kids gonna look like them. They are so cute. I knew you were typing me this, Blasian. And yeah, he mentioned a copy of this because he always mentions some girl named Blasian. Okay, let's continue. Now I know who's Blasian. Alright, let's continue with the, um... With the whole preaching here of Daisy. She continues. On March 12th, we traveled back to Miami together. At first, everything was fine. I stayed in his apartment. We had mutual understanding. He is not a monogamous, a monogamous person. That me and him both need our own space. So I just so I just suggested to him to help me rent an apartment, he said. I want you to have the things you want as you understand me. Well, let's continue. Ten days later, a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises. That how he told me he loves me and wants to see it in the long term. He wants to plan a future with me. Instead of renting an apartment, better buy a new house. Which I think he is completely lying and making excuses about it. He used me, hurted me. He was a cheater, a huge gamer. I only found out this later and started to take his hater words. Now... I don't know who's lying here now because obviously someone is lying. I we don't know if Fresh actually told her that. I I I don't know. I mean, it, it, this part right here in this message is really confusing because I mean he told you he is monogamous, so obviously he told you that he's gonna sleep with other people. And in the previous message, you were surprised that he possibly had four other girls pregnant when you know when you knew he was. Uh, and he was willing to sleep with other girls. So that shouldn't have surprised you. But remember, people, remember, she did say, remember, remember, she did say that are you sleeping with other girls using no condoms? Basically, not using condoms. Remember, catch that part of the message. She said, oh my God, you're sleeping with other girls without a condom? She knew he was sleeping with other girls, but the fact that he didn't use a condom with them is what basically surprised her. So, I even caught myself there. So, excuse me, Daisy. You got a one up there. I give it to you right there, but let's continue. When people told me negative things about him in the beginning, I always stood by his side and supported him and believed in him. I chose to believe in my partner instead of audiences. The truth is, he pretended to be a high-value man to date girls, then ditched them. He didn't pretend to be a high-value man. He always said he was a high-value man that is willing to sleep with as much girls as possible. He always said that. So, you're lying right there. You're lying right there because I believe Fresh didn't hide that from you. And you knew. He says it in his podcast. I mean, uh, let's continue. The reason why I'm exposing this is because as a woman, I want to stand out, stand out or stand up for other girls. That's what you mean. And I can understand the fact that she's messing up her, her words other than fresh because I, I can understand why she can't articulate herself properly in this message because she's not English is not her first language. You know what I mean? Just like English is not my first language. But like I said, I could always articulate myself. There's just some other some words that give me problems. Her, uh, I can understand why she messes up. I don't want any other girl ending up like me. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. It takes so long to turn the page. All right, now I'm. I hope this is almost the end of her damn message. He said on the phone, "There's no reason to meet and discuss further." He refused to have an adult conversation in person. He asked me to take pills and deal with it alone. He doesn't even want to show up and be a real man to take the responsibility under his behalf. Now I'm wanting all girls stay away from this man. He is dishonest and a liar. And she said, I have suffered many days before I decided to tell everyone what happened. I need to help other girls to know his true color. And ladies, please protect yourself. You should have protected yourself. But I guess you don't need protection 
because a fresh honestly is telling the truth when he's on his podcast stating that he's a one percent man and has all that money you don't need protection because you're gonna have half his fortune let's continue i'm in a strange country all alone obviously she's in miami if i don't expose this he will continue doing that to other naive girls there will be more women hurt after a few days he asked me to move out he stopped coming home he disappeared for three nights without explanation I called him, he never answered. When I did nothing wrong, when I was so genuine, I left my work behind in China to pursue this relationship. So I moved out, booked the first flight to New York City. On March 30th, I had a pregnancy test. It's positive. Here's what happened. All right. I mean, oh my God, Fresh. You, oh my God. In March 12th, we traveled back to my at first. Everything was fine. I stayed in his apartment. We had mutual understanding. He, oh, I mean, why are we going back to this? I mean, why are we going back to this? I mean, did I press something wrong here? All right. Um, I didn't press nothing wrong. All right. I wanted to keep the bear. All right. So now I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Now we're going to continue with the text messages because they continue to text after, I guess, after that whole ordeal. She started, I hope you have all the money for your child support, which was already set. You finally admit you are a fucking trash. And he said, like I stated before, after reading this, um, I don't have money. So let's skip everything fresh said, which is good luck, blah, 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 blah. She starts saying, nobody cares about your money. And he says, good. Also, I know you don't want to raise a kid by yourself. You need a man that's going to be there with you. We aren't even together. Forget the money part. She rebuttals and says, I want to keep the baby. I will raise it by myself. But, you, but you'll have to take the responsibility. I don't need a man. Especially, I don't need a man like you. Uh, mm, little jab there on you fresh a little jab on you and especially the fact that you're a christian man remember you said you're a christian man so why you want a kid with someone like me makes no sense but okay because i'm not a killer and this is and and this is i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this and a lot of people's gonna say shy guy i mean are you taking this uh, her side i'm not taking nobody's side i think both of these people made terrible freaking decisions i think they're i'm not gonna say they're both idiots because in life we do we, we sometimes do idiotic things and we make mistakes but at least it, what makes you a, a a a man or a woman at least a decent one is what is the decisions you make after the mistake has taken place right so she says right here because i'm not a killer and when i was with you i loved you i don't care about the i love you part i don't but the fact that she states i'm not a killer once again i do not believe the child needs to take the punishment off of the decisions you two made i i, I don't believe in killing a innocent child just because of an inconvenience i i i really don't i really don't <laughs> i mean it is it, it it boggles my mind people right that fresh says he's a christian this is his child he's killing and i'm, I'm not trying to go biblical on you guys i'm not trying to go biblical on you guys but there's some parts of the things that in, in church when I grew up that I'm always going to stick with. And that's not to kill an innocent child. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not it, it, you deal with the situation. Let's continue. Because I'm not trying to go biblical on you guys. But shit, things need to be said and, and, and exposed. She continues. Because I only realized now I was with a wrong person and you lied to me. This, does this make sense? I thought you are smart, but we all know Fresh is not smart. <laughs> I had to throw that in. We all know Fresh is not smart. And I don't care if Fresh watches this video or happens to bump into this video. Fresh, you are not an intelligent individual. You can't even articulate yourself, dude. Let Myron take over the show. Let Myron take over the show. Let Myron speak only. Because when you speak, I literally press mute until you're done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a rant. I had a rant right there, but let's continue. I thought you are smart. Say less. Whoa, what the hell? She has problems articulating herself with other words, but damn, she went street right there. She said, yo, listen, say less. <laughs> All right, let's continue. This is um, Fresh speaking. 
I didn't lie to you. It's not about being a killer. It's about doing what's best for us. And also a child. It would be very selfish to bring a kid into this world without fully committed parents. Neither of us are ready to deal with something like this. Wow. And he continues his, um, his rant about killing the child. He continues his rant about killing the child. This, what a piece of shit. Fresh, you a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, man. You are. You, you, you. I'm not going to start a rant again, guys. All right, relax. I'm not going to start another rant. Let me breathe in. Let me breathe out. Let's continue. She rebuttals. It's selfish to make me pregnant and leave me and lie to me. I'm not selfish. You are. And this is the part I agree with her. You can leave her. Fuck her. But the child, my dude? The child? Kill it? Middle finger to you, my dude. Let's continue. You should worry about the other four girls you fucked with now. Learn from your lesson, because I learned mine from you. Wow. Fresh shots fired. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. All right. Babe, I was with him in December. Make an STD test ASAP. I did it when I was with him. He only admitted today he had sex with another woman without protection. We didn't just pre protect it, and he came in me multiple times. I'm assuming this is another woman she's speaking with? I've been tested, and I'm clean. Are you okay, love? I'm so sorry he did this to you. I didn't know, I didn't know about you. I was staying with him mid-December wow all the girls are ganging up now <laughs> all the girls are ganging up on freaking fresh now oh my god avengers assemble <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> holy shit let's continue all right all right let me see boom if you guys still think this is me faking it or baby trap i called him and wanting to discuss about the situation this is what he said to me I'm not desperate to baby trap anyone. If I do, I could have picked someone better. We don't decide who we met and fall in love with. You can laugh about it, but this is the truth. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to lie. And call a cap all you want. And, and, and you guys um, looking at her pictures, because I've seen in some videos and some comments, oh, it's, ew, ew, she's so muscular. Ew, ew, ew. Stop it. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys would have want her. Stop. Stop the cap. A lot of guys found her attractive. A lot of you guys who are in the comments talking trash about her. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys would have gave her all the freaking opportunity and time <coughs> possible just to get with her. So let's stop the cap. Is she attractive? Absolutely. Is she fit? Absolutely. Is she is she a woman to bring back to mom? I don't know because the Instagram models are, are, are really suspect. I, I don't know, but let's continue. Um, I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. What? what? And did I just hit? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind here, people. I'm gonna lose my mind here. They just give you a pill and it's I, I, I'm gonna lose my mind here. Because did he say it's not killing the baby by just taking the pill? Yes, it's killing the baby fresh. That's what the pill does. I don't know if you know that. It's not like you take the pill and all of a sudden the freaking pill does a fucking Goku instantaneous transmission and takes it to heaven. It kills the baby first. <laughs> I mean... And you and you guys think Fresh is intelligent? This is the guy you this is the guy you guys are listening to? This is the guy that has the ultimate advice for men? Oh my god. Holy shit. I mean, let's continue. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. And obviously she's recording this because she wants to, um, she wants to have evidence and everything in court, which is, which is intelligent in her part, but fresh is an idiot for, for, for accepting this phone call, not realizing that she's recording this. Once again, fresh shows that he's an idiot. He shouldn't have taken the phone call. He should have went, 
and met with her in public and spoke about this. Not on the phone, my dude. Like, what is wrong with you? You're not killing Okay. You are killing a child. This is going to sound so bad for you in court, my dude. It's going to sound so bad for you in court, man. It, it's, it, it, you're, you're, you're done here, dude. You're, you're done. Let's continue. I want to keep the baby. Did okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Okay. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why would I do anything to you? Why would she say that? That's kind of weird. The fact that she threw that though, she basically protected herself. That was kind of an intelligent move because now she's saying what you're going to do to me. So now anything that anything happens to this girl, <laughs> Fresh is the first suspect. <laughs> because she threw that out there now, now that this is exposed, now that this is all over the internet, anything happens to this girl, Fresh is the first suspect. Nothing. Well, why would I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... I can go to the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor? So you want abortion? He already stated that he wanted an abortion. Like, I don't get... I mean... Are we playing games now? Like, I mean... I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that, that... That's true, but then it's like, oh, wow, like... So just think about it, it's meant to be. Meant to be? This woman God, wants, crazy. God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month and you I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, now I just think about it. if like if you force me to kill the baby then you're a sin. Um, it's a sin already by having sexual relationships out of marriage but let's continue well we already said by having sex but it's too late now you know but honestly if that was the case then my ex-wife would have the baby you know I'm just saying look I get it but we're not together. You want to get a baby? I don't want a baby. Wow. So, I mean, there you have it. There As I'm sure it. you guys know, when it comes to the W. There you have it. I mean, wow. If Fresh happens to have this baby with this woman, his life is going to be a freaking catastrophe, a, a, a catastrophe. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be freaking Freddy Krueger um, as a Japanese woman stabbing him with the fucking claws every night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and hey, it is what it is. I believe that majority, at least 20% of what Fresh and Fit says when it comes to men and the opportunities to sleep with ladies, I believe is a farce. I believe it's a... um. And advice no one should follow i believe if you're a man of high stature and you have the opportunity to sleep with as many women as possible doesn't mean you have to sleep with as many women as possible you should be disciplined and choose among those ladies who you choose to sleep with even if you choose to sleep with just four of them do your thing but don't sleep with 20 of them if there's 20 ladies offering to sleep with you or whatever doesn't mean you have to sleep with 20 20 ladies because <laughs> if you sleep with 20 ladies it raises the stakes of you dealing with an evil woman i don't know i mean 
it is what it is let me know what you think let me know what you guys think make sure you leave your comments down make sure you hit the like button if you really enjoyed this content also make sure you hit the subscribe as always i really appreciate the support thank you for sitting at my table this is black shy guy i'm out of here peace Arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean